watching In Focus. In Uganda, the Century Entrepreneurship Development Agency, known as SIDA, has launched a program aimed at helping women and girls to become economically independent and socially responsible. VOA's Paul Diho recently spoke with the agency's founder about the Rising Stars mentoring program. There's a generational gap in Uganda where most of the women leaders are in their 50s and 60s. And we are saying this can't go on. Our population in Uganda is 75% youth below 30. And when you look around and see where the leaders under those ages, they are not there. So our mission is to create a new generation of women leaders. I was watching one of your videos and I looked at uh, how you've, you are engaging these schools, trying to look out for these kids who are in interested, especially young girls, who are interested in uh, taking up uh, future leadership roles. Uh, yeah. uh, how do you come up with that idea? Uh, that idea, after I participated in the Fortune Mentoring Program, which was done here in Washington, D.C. and New York, I thought to myself and I said, what did you miss out in life? How come other countries are beyond you in terms of development? And I realized as a child growing up, I didn't have any self-belief, I didn't have role models to look up to, and I didn't have a supportive network. So when I went back home in 2009, I said I need to set up that structure for young girls because that's the only way they are going to realize their potentials, this not even as children, as adults. Right now when you talk to like, my friends in their 30s and 40s and, and, and say, what's your career plan? They don't have any because they don't know what it actually means. So that's what we are doing is to make sure we help these young girls discover themselves at an early age and then they dream. They dream about places like Washington. Instead of you're in Kampala and you're dreaming about going to Entebbe. That's not a dream, really. We are saying, can you dream bigger? Those girls are, feel so empowered. Uh, they feel like they can do everything or they can be who they want to be. Uh, uh, what kind of impact has that had on these young girls? Uh, you can't believe. Uh, we've had the program for in secondary schools now for the last, I would say, five months. But the change in the girls is so transformational that we found some of the girls that were timid and they didn't know who they are and they are thinking they are so disturbed about the future. My mother is telling me I have to be a doctor. My father is telling me I have to be a lawyer. But I want to be an engineer. Those instances are many. And right now, the girls, we took them through a self-discovery period.